Greetings everybody, my name is Carrie, and in this Sudoku tutorial I am going to put together all of the strategies that we went over in the first four videos, but I'm going to look at some situations which may require a slightly more advanced application of those strategies. This particular video is going to be an extension of the matching sets lesson, and I'm going to call this strategy a jigsaw because the idea is to break the grid down into a number of smaller pieces and deal with each small piece one by one. To show this technique, I have chosen a hard rated puzzle from the website websudoku.com. This is just my personal experience, but the techniques at the intermediate level will typically get you through about 90% of those puzzles. In most cases, that said, most puzzles will have a handful of points where you're likely to get stuck, maybe two or three where you're likely to get slowed down a little bit. But hopefully the strategy that I will go over in this video and the next couple of videos will help you slip through some of those uh, slowdown points. I'm going to jump ahead past some simple scanning and some tedious row and column clue collection, and I'm going to go on to a point where the jigsaw strategy is going to be needed. And I'm going to focus entirely on this middle area here, those three boxes. And to get started, I'm going to do one more scan on the fives. I notice a five in the top box in the, sec in the center column. I also notice a column clue in the lower box. And I see that the five has to be in the rightmost column. And that should tell me where the five goes in this center box here. It must go in the left cell. And with the last two blanks in that 3x3 three three box, I can form a matching pair, which will be populated with a 3 and a 7. And what happens next is going to be the key to this lesson. You can expect whenever you form a matching pair or a matching triple that you have actually also created another matching set somewhere else within the unit. And in this particular case, that matching unit is going to be in the same column as the 3-7 pair, but in the box immediately below it. So in the top six cells, we at least know the six numbers that will go in there. And now we can deduce what three numbers are going to go in that column in the lower box, and that being a four, five, and eight. We already had two of those numbers as column clues, but this reasoning will give us the third and final number for that column. And that's going to give us a matching triple in the lower center box. I'll shade that triple up. And orange, and if we look right beside that triple in the center column, we can extend that logic to figure out which two numbers will go in that box as well. So based on the numbers that are already filled in and the fact that a 4, 5, 8 are going to go in the orange cells, that leaves just the 1 and 3 for the two cells which, have, which are still blank but not in orange. So once we know those are going to be 1 and 3, we can look up at the top box as well. We have two blank cells in that column in the top box, and we should be able to figure out that those will be a 4 and a 7. And right beside it, uh, we have two cells in the left column, and that's going to be a 1 and a 3. And now you can see why I call this strategy Jigsaw. Each matching set is its own piece of the overall puzzle, and each cell within an individual piece will be limited to the same candidates as the other cells in that piece. Now we should be able to make some solves on those cells. Starting in the top box, in white, we already have a 3 on the second row, so those cells from top to bottom will read 3-1. The purple pair sees a 4 on the third row, so from top to bottom those should read 4, 7. And the orange triple in the lower box can be 4, 5, and 8. However, on the top row there is already a 4 and a 5, so that cell must be an 8. And at this point of the puzzle, the rest of the puzzle should be solvable using simply scanning and lone candidates. So I'm going to wrap up this tutorial here. I thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Take care.